Hey guys, thank you for tuning in for some speech therapy. Um, this video is going to be a story that we're going to do on the story glove. Um, it's the story of the three billy goats gruff. And this is a great video to watch if your student is working on answering all different kinds of WH questions. What, who, where, when, why, how, how starts with H, but you know what I mean, which, all of the questions. Um, we're going to go through a bunch of different question forms. Uh, also, if your student is working on story retelling, so being able to tell a story of three elements, retell a story of five elements, uh, any of those things, that's good. Um, and if your student is working on inferencing and predicting, or verbal reasoning tasks, so lots of why and how questions, thinking about um, the story in a less literal way. Okay, so let's get started. Get my story glove on. All right, this is the story of three Billy Goats Gruff. There are three goats in the story. One is little, to move closer. one is little, one is medium, and the third billy goat is big. They were brothers, the littlest, the smallest, then next is the medium, and then the biggest, the biggest billy goat gruff. Another character in our story is the troll. The troll is not a nice guy. You'll see. All right. Once there, whoops. <laughs> Once there was a bridge that went over a river. And on the far side of the bridge was a meadow, like a field with the best grass. And goats love to eat good grass. All the good grass was on this side of the bridge, across the river, over the bridge. There was a troll who lived under the bridge in the river, under the bridge, lived a troll. He did not like for anyone to pass over his bridge. He was very grumpy. One day, the littlest billy goat decided he wanted some of that good grass on the other side of the bridge. So he began to walk, hmm, he began to walk over the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. When the troll heard his footsteps going over the bridge, the troll said, who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And the littlest billy goat felt scared and said, it's me, the littlest billy goat. I want to go over the bridge to eat some good grass. And the troll said, no, you won't. I'm going to come and gobble you up. The littlest billy goat said, no, 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 please don't eat me. I'm so little, I won't even fill you up. You should wait for my brother who's coming next. He's bigger than me. The troll thought about it. Hmm, a bigger billy goat would be better. So he waited and he let that littlest billy goat go on across the bridge, over the bridge, to that meadow to eat grass. Next came the medium-sized billy goat. 
The medium-sized billy goat was so hungry too, and he wanted some of that good grass on the other side of the river over the bridge. So he came crossing the bridge. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. The troll heard those footsteps crossing the bridge and he said, who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And the medium billy goat said, it's me, the medium sized billy goat. I am crossing over your bridge to go get some good green grass on the other side. And the troll said, no, you're not. I'm going to come and gobble you up. And the medium sized billy goat said, no, 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 please don't eat me. I'm only a medium sized goat. I won't even fill you up. You should wait for my brother who's coming. He is bigger than me. The troll thought about this and he thought, you're right. A bigger billy goat would even be better. So he let that medium sized goat keep going across the bridge over to where the grass was good in the field. Last came the biggest billy goat gruff. Trip, trap, trip, trap, trip, trap. He came walking across the bridge, trying to get to the other side to eat the grass also. The troll heard those big footsteps on his bridge and said, Who's that trip trapping over my bridge? And the biggest billy goat said, It is me, the biggest billy goat. I am going to get some grass on the other side of the bridge. And the troll said, No, you're not. I'm going to come and gobble you up. But the biggest billy goat said, No, you won't, because I have big horns and I will push you off of the bridge. The troll felt scared of those big horns and the troll swam away down the river away from that big billy goat. And the biggest billy goat crossed over the bridge and ate grass with his brothers. And that troll was never seen again. He was so scared, he must have stayed way down the river. The end. Okay guys, thanks for listening. Now, let's talk about who was in our story today. Was this a story about elephants? Was it a story about girls? Who was in the story? If you said goats, then you are right. How many goats were in the story? If you said three, you were right. There was one, well, we'll do it this way, one, two, three. There were three goats in our story. There was one other character in our story. Do you remember who else was in our story? It was somebody who lived under a bridge. Do you remember what he was called? If you said a troll, you were right. The characters in our story were the three billy goats and the troll. Where did the story take place? Was our story in a house? Or on a mountain? Or at a farm? No. Our story was by a river with a bridge and there was a field of grass on the other side. That's where our story took place. All right. Who, well, we'll keep our bridge here. 
All right, who remembers what happened first in our story? Well, we probably need to start with this because we have our bridge and our troll lived under it. Remember that? Under. Did he go up on top and trip trap across? No, he lived under. Okay, now, what happened first? If you said the littlest billy goat came first, then you are right. Why did that little billy goat want to cross the bridge? Do you remember why? Why did he want to get over on this side? The reason why he wanted to cross the bridge was because he wanted to eat that delicious grass that was in the field on the other side. Why did the troll say, I'm going to come and get you? The reason why the troll wanted to come up and get that goat was because he wanted to eat him. Do you remember what the littlest billy goat said? He told the troll to wait, to let him go and wait for the next one. Why? Why was it better to wait for the next goat? This was the littlest billy goat. He said, I'm so little, you'll eat me and you won't even be full. You should wait because the next goat is bigger. So the troll said, okay. All right, who remembers what happened next? If you said the medium goat crossed the bridge, then you are right. Why did he want to cross the bridge? This goat wanted to cross the bridge to go eat that good grass also. He wanted to go over there with his little brother. But the goat said no. Why? Why did that troll say no? The troll said no, because he wanted to come eat that billy goat. But remember that the goat said, you should wait. You should wait for the next goat. Why? Why would that troll have wanted to wait for the next goat? Because the next goat was even bigger, even bigger than this medium-sized goat. So we let him go across and he went to eat grass too. What happened third in the story? What happened next? If you said the big billy goat came across the bridge, you are right. Now the troll was excited to eat that big billy goat. Did he get to eat him? No, he didn't. Why not? Do you remember that the biggest billy goat said, I have these big horns on top of my head and I'll use them to push you off the bridge if you try to come eat me. Do you remember how that made the troll feel? How did he feel about that? Would you want a big billy goat pushing you with his big horns? No, that would be so scary 
the troll felt scared. And so what did he do? He swam away down the river, away from that bridge. And last, what happened? All of the goats got to eat that good grass and the troll was gone. The end. Okay, guys, you did a great job. Thank you for listening to the story about the three billy goats gruff. I hope you answered some of the questions while we were going along. And I hope you're doing well. Miss Hammond misses you so much. Okay, talk to you soon. Bye.